Steve Chapman, General Manager of Cray Valley Football Club, ex-first team manager, been with the club since 1981. Yeah, just tell us a little bit about your background. I've always enjoyed football since uh, a young age, um, went to Blackheath Blue Colt uh, School um, and uh, represented London uh, at under 18 level and um, from there um, progressed a, a year at Charlton when Paul Walsh was down there and uh, he was the golden boy. Um, didn't make it, um, no, no regrets um, about uh, not progressing it any further. Uh, and then um, I got uh, posted to Cray Valley when I was quite young and, and uh, I had a really good job up in the city. So from there onwards, um, you know, I just played for Cray Valley as a player and in the first team and I've just been at the club uh, and watched us progress from uh, being in the um, South London Alliance uh, up to the um, London League into the South Midlands League and then the Kent League um, then I hung the boots up um, managed the London representative team for 13 years which I've just given up uh, first team for three and a half years uh, and now I've just taken the back seat on the committee when you um, when you were a kid was it always a pro like uh, sorry we started when you were a kid was it always you always wanted to be a footballer was that in, in your head like the dream to be the footballer oh uh, yeah uh, uh, Untold, yeah. I mean, you can't you can't believe how, how um, you know when you're younger and you're playing. I played at very good standard when I was younger, and uh, you just wanted to play. I just wanted to play for Millwall. Um, that never happened. I knew it was never going to happen. Uh, but I've always tried just to play at a reasonable standard. Yeah. What position did you play? Uh, probably uh, one of the downfalls, really. I was a bit of a utility player. Uh, believe it or not, um, at five foot five, uh, I, I'd shut up and I was centre half, up to sixteen. Uh, sent half stroke sweeper, uh, obviously not big enough and um, then I moved to uh, midfield, centre midfield, then I had a couple of years at left back and I had a year at right back, ended my career playing centre midfield. So, what yeah. would you have preferred if you had to play one position? Uh, to be fair, I, I mean I, I loved the sweeper role because I was really quick and uh, yeah. you know, I could you know, cover around and, uh, and look good basically. Yeah. So. so in regards to Prey Valley, how long did you play for them as a player? I played um, up until I was 39 and a half, until I had my knee up, uh, and then I'd come out of retirement when I was about 45 to play a half a dozen games for our C team, which I managed after we sacked the manager um, for, for the last half uh, half of the season, so yeah. Do you ever still put the, the boots on for like a... Yeah, uh, yeah my son Josh uh, organises five aside on a, uh, Sunday mornings. Uh, I still turn out, uh, everyone takes a piss, but um, I really enjoy it. Uh, didn't play this morning because of this, yeah. um, but I am 56 now as well, so I don't do bad. Um, came in a bit of timber, but yeah. Um, moving on to obviously the, the semi final, it, it's been you know, a good season so far for, for Crow Valley, doing well in the league, we got to the semi final. Um, do, you, do you find the cup competition is a bit like the FA Cup? With the bigger teams, it's a bit of a hindrance, or in the lower teams, it's it's completely the opposite. I think it's been a big motivation for us, to be honest. I think it's the opposite. Um, our aim this year is very much to go up, so this is a bonus. Um, we the, we set out our stalls at the start of the season to go up. We we managed our budget carefully, and we you know we set out to go up this year. So it'd be very disappointed if we don't. But um, but you know certainly uh, you know me personally. I wouldn't swap a visit to Wembley for uh, winning the league. You can always win the league next year. Yeah, um, it's, it's a two two legged. Um, tell us a little bit about Canterbury. Canterbury very strong, always very strong. And funny enough, we've been uh, following uh, since we came into the Kent County League uh, about ten years or so ago, maybe fifteen years ago. Canterbury have been in our league, so we've always been in competition with them, and and they've always been close games. Yeah. You know, uh, so and th and this will be today. They they they're a good strong team. Um, they, they, they I spoke to their manager when we beat them earlier uh, in the season, which is only about two months ago. He said he's not worried with the league. He was focusing on the FA Vars. So ignore their league results. <laughs> For the players, it must be um, such an experience to get to Wembley. Obviously, probably most of them have not not played at Wembley. I know. I think Kevin. Kevin and, and Gavin, uh, Gavin Tomlin's played there for Torquay and um, Southend in the playoff finals. So there's nothing so, better than that. Yeah. So yeah, I mean everyone's excited about that. And you've got a few players who've got quite experienced players like Andy Walker, our goalkeeper, that uh, has played at very high level, but but not played at Wembley. So it'd be a dream for him to 
you know, to go out there. And for the supporters as well. And supporters, yeah. We haven't got big fan bases because of where we are. Lots of competition around this uh, this area, Cholton, Millwall, um, plus all the non-league teams, VCD and Cray Wanderers. Um, so uh, we don't get massive crowds, but hopefully we'll be able to build on this after this season. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we we'll look forward to that. We wish you the best of luck. Um, yeah. Any final words for... No, just you know, well done, Kevin. This year, he's done extremely well. Uh, he's he's always under pressure, um, but so far he's always come up with the goods. So yeah. Well, we wish you the best of luck. And